What is up guys, we are back today for another UU Live and today we have a very monstrous team that I built. Uh, this team consists of Haxorus, I want to show you guys this Haxorus set actually, so let me open my team builder real quick. Uh, <laughs> Haxorus is rocking Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Poison Jab, and Incinerate. It's a Life Orb set. Uh, Incinerate is to be able to Oko, um, Oko Fortress after rocks. Also hits a couple of other things in the tier, so that's nice to have. Of course, Dragon Claw, Earthquake, and Poison Jab is general coverage. Most people think that they can just switch into a uh, Haxorus that's about to set up and either like Encore it or something like that with Whimsicott. So uh, this thing is, is a big threat. Being Life Orb reduces its uh, longevity, but that's what our next Pokemon is for. We have Sylveon, which is our Wish Passer. We also have Heal Bell on there to uh, get rid of status, protect, and Hyper Voice standard moveset. We have a Mega Aggron today, rocking uh, Stealth Rock, Roar, Heavy Slam, and Earthquake. It's a standard set. We're getting a little bit of a defense, a lot of special defense, and a lot of HP. So it's more of a tank than, a, than an attacker, obviously. Our next tank is Mandibuzz, so we have a very strong uh, defensive core right here between Sylveon, Aggron, and Mandibuzz. Uh, Roost, Knockoff, Taunt, and Defog gets rid of hazards, uh, heals itself up, gets rid of items, and taunts Stealth Rockers to keep the hazards away in general. Then we have a Life Orb Darmanitan. I'm considering changing this thing to a Choice Scarfer because I need speed, but... Um, Flare Blitz, Earthquake, Rock Slide, and U-Turn. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to do that right away and change it to Choice Scarf. Give myself a little bit of speed on the team because that's what it's really lacking, seeing as we don't have a Setup Sweeper in Haxorus. But we do have one in Gyarados, and this thing sweeps teams, let me tell you. Uh, Substitute, Dragon Dance, Waterfall, and Bounce. So, really solid team. Just going to go back here and uh, find a battle. It's quite early in the morning, actually. I slept for like 12 hours, so I'm recording this at like 6.44 a.m. Might have a while, uh, might have trouble getting a battle, so I'll pause it until we get one, guys. All right, and here we have a Shuckle. We have a Shuckle. <laughs> we also have a Deblade. Uh, it seems like a like a pseudo rain team without Mega Swampert, to be honest. That's what it looks like to me with uh, Heliolisk, Thunderous. Sorry, not Thunderous, Tornadus, and uh, Blastoise. So, curious to see how I'm going to be able to break through this. Gyarados is going to have a, a little bit of trouble sweeping with that Heliolisk there. Uh, other than that, he doesn't have a lot of checks for it. So, I say let's lead with Darmanitan as it's our choice. Scarfer will be able to get off a U-turn and break a potential Sash on this thing. I think it does uh, resist U-turn twice, but be able to get off a little bit of damage here. And follow it up by going into either Agron or Haxorus. Uh, I think Agron is the play here, as he gets up Stealth Rocks, which is fine. We will get up our own right here. And uh, if he wants to get up Sticky Webs, that's okay. I don't really mind. He goes for Encore, locks me into that, and I'm going to be forced to switch right here. Uh, in that case, I'll just go into Sylveon, I think, and start firing off some Hyper Voices on this guy. Uh, but that gives him a free switch into the blade, which I don't really want to do. So, alternatively, I could also go into Gyarados here. I don't really want Darmanitan weakened. Uh, so I'm going to go Gyarados. Take the rocks, but we are leftovers, so that's fine. He goes for a Toxic. That's not fine. Don't like that. Uh, I guess he predicted me to switch out of Aggron, which is uh, respectable because he did Encore me into Stealth Rock, so... Uh, just gonna go for the waterfall right here get off some damage on this thing 44 percent very nice he flinches which is great we're going to take slight amount of poison damage right there and we can always heal bell this thing and wish it back up later so it's not a big deal plus he has a heliolisk that pretty much walls me so i uh, gotta go for another waterfall if he goes into heliolisk here that's fine i don't mind his shuckle is going to be very weakened uh, to the point where pretty much almost anything on my team will be able to take it out after so don't really mind that and we have a pretty solid switch into Heliolisk, honestly. He goes into Blastoise, though. Good play. Uh, he's going to take the Waterfall. Not too well, actually. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, this is more than likely his Mega. So I can switch into my Sylveon, I think, right here. It's fine. Uh, Scald or Hydro Pump is going to hurt, obviously. But I don't think it's going to be able to kill me. He goes for a Rapid Spin anyway, so it's not a big deal. I'm just going to get off a Heal Bell right here. Because I need to get rid of that, uh, that Poison Damage. And his Blastoise is nice and weakened now, so I don't know if he's actually going to stay in on a potential Hyper Voice and have his Blastoise 2 hit KO'd. I would see him going into the Blade here, and from there we'll be able to go into our Mandibuzz and pretty much wall that thing. And get rid of these rocks as well, which is going to help Gyarados later. Uh, again, Gyarados doesn't have an amazing matchup because of the Heliolisk, but 
Uh, it doesn't do too bad. I mean, plus three bounce is going to hurt. So let's just go for the switch into Mana Buzz right here. It's pretty safe. I, alternatively, I could always also switch into Agron and wall this thing for days. Uh, it does have Secret Sword, but I mean, he needs to get to like plus three to do anything to me with that. Uh, he's actually going to double into his Blastoise right here. And we're able to take pretty much any any hit from this thing, so I'm just going to go for the Defog. He goes for the Ice Beam, does a lot, but we are specially defensive. Luckily, he doesn't freeze us, and we are able to get rid of the rocks right there. Uh, now, seeing him go for Ice Beam makes me think he's not going to go for it a second time, to be honest. Because uh, I do have an Aggron in the back, so... I also don't really want to lose this, because it does wall the, the blade rather nicely. And that's a big problem. So... I think I'm kind of forced into Agron here. Now, you know what? I'm just going to Roost. As he does make a switch into Shuckle, that's great. We're going to be able to taunt this thing and keep it from setting up. Uh, hazards again, or Encoring us, or Toxicking, so very nice. And then I'll be able to go into my Gyarados afterwards, start getting some Leftovers recovery. Oh, he does have the Mental Orb. Okay, so he Toxics us. Not a big deal. Uh, he would see another taunt coming, I would think. So, I'm going to pull a switch into our, uh, I think directly into our Agron here, as he goes for the switch into his Heliolisk, which is good for us, and we can either Earthquake, he's probably going to Volt Switch, so I'm just going to get up rocks here, he's going to Volt Switch, and that looks like Specs damage, it's Life Orb actually, okay, alright, so he brings, brings in his Shuckle, are we faster than Shuckle is my question. Uh, we are, so we'll be able to go for a heavy slam right here and knock this thing out with a crit. Goodbye, Shuckle. All right, cool. Now our rocks are up and pretty much here to stay because his Blastoise is going to have a hard time rapid spinning. I mean, it can spin on my Aggron, but that's about it. Everything else, uh, I can taunt it with, uh, well, he can still spin if I taunt him, but you know what? I'm curious. How much is this Earthquake going to do? He goes for a Scald. He does 42% to us. Go for the Earthquake, does 31, so very nice. And we keep him from spinning here. Uh, well, he still spins anyway, but we're able to knock out his Blastoise, so we'll be able to get off another spin later. Uh, on his Heliolus, because it is Life Orb, I want to weaken it a little bit, so I'm going to go into Sylveon. I'm going to keep my Aggron alive as he goes for a Volt Switch. And now he has a free switch into his Deblade, but again, I still have Mana Buzz alive, so it's not a big deal. Uh, as well, I can also go into my Darmanitan here. It's kind of a risky play because I'm still going to be taking a lot of damage from an Iron Head regardless. So, kind of weary about making that play, but I'm going to do it anyway. I'm just going to switch into Darmanitan here as he goes for the Iron Head. Doesn't do as much as I thought it would, to be honest. I know it's a resisted hit, but Darmanitan is extremely frail. So, Iron Head, which means his... Um, his uh, Shadow Sneak would do about the same amount of damage because it's about half uh, half the power of Iron Head and it's not resisted. So I'm just going to Flare Blitz right here. He goes for the Shadow Sneak and we'll be able to almost knock out his Deblade. And here we'll go... Uh, we'll keep our Darmanitan alive because we can still Wish Pass into it later, don't forget that. And uh, we'll go into Mandibuzz on his next Shadow Sneak and we'll be able to eat that up and follow it up with a knockoff on something get rid of another item, potentially the Life Orb on Heliolisk, which is good, because now it doesn't have as much power to hit us with, and we should be able to take a Thunderbolt or a Volt Switch from this thing, to be honest, now that it doesn't have its Life Orb. It's relatively weak. Um, I could also just go into Agron here and sack it. Uh, let's see, let's see. What do I want to do? Haxorus puts in a lot of work now, now that this thing is weakened. Uh, his the blade is weakened so we can knock it out with Earthquake. Yeah, I think I pretty much just win with Haxorus now, so I'm actually just going to knock off again as he Volt Switches. As you can see, we can take that just fine, and we'll be able to get off another item here. As he goes into Tornadus, and we get off its Life Orb as well. Awesome, okay. So, now I'm going to... Uh, let's see... I think Sylveon's safe because I think we take a two-hit KO the, uh, the the blade now. He actually misses a hurricane, very unfortunate for him. I would have been able to take that, though. I'm just going to go for the uh, the Hyper Voice. He goes for a Sludge Wave, gets the Poison on it. That's a 10% chance. And uh, he's going to be able to weaken us severely. Do I need this for anything? I mean, not really. What's this thing's speed? 353, so it's very fast. But our Darmanitan outspeeds it. So let me just go for another Hyper Voice here. He goes for a Sludge Wave, that's fine. 
I'm gonna go into our Narmanitan, and I'm just gonna U-turn out. And uh, if he has pr a Prankster move like Thunder Wave or anything like that, that's unfortunate. But again, our Haxorus just wins the game at this point, I think. Uh, he does have a potential Moxie Pokemon in um, in Crocodile, but as long as I keep Gyarados alive, he can't spam EQ. As well, I still have Mandibuzz, so I have two things off the ground. He could go for knockoff repeatedly, but I mean, at minus one, it's not going to do much to, uh, to Gyarados. So I'm just going to U-turn here, knock out his Tornadus, and we will follow that up by going into our... I feel like Mandibuzz would bait in the Heliolisk. Absolutely. And Manabuzz doesn't do much for me anymore, because pretty much everything takes out his Deblade at this point. So yeah, I'm going into Manabuzz, and it also prevents him from clicking Knock Off with his, uh, with his Crocodile and knocking us out, so. Let's see, he goes into Heliolus, that's a good bait, there we go, we're gonna go for Knock Off. He goes for Hyper Voice, knocks us out. We can now go back into our Darmanitan, and I think just hit EQ. Um, I don't know if U-Turn, yeah, U-Turn should be able to take it out, honestly. So we can just go for that. And then if he goes into... If he stays in, we knock out his Heliolisk, which is great. Because now our Gyarados can just win the game. I'm going to go into Aggron here, though. Because if his Crook is Moxie, then he has to lock himself into Earthquake. We can then follow that up by going into Gyarados. Uh, I'm assuming he's going to be Choice. So let's just go for the Stealth... No, Heavy Slam right here. Goes for knockoff. He actually is able to knock us out with that. And he is Moxie. Now, I'm curious to know if he's Choice Scarfed. Because if he's not, then... Actually, let's run a calc really quickly. Crocodile. Uh, let's say you're Choice Scarfed. Can you knock out Haxorus right now? Haxorus. Haxorus. OU. Uh, UU, sorry. Uh, let's say Double Dance, because that's relatively the spread that we are. Knockoff at plus one. Let me move this. At plus one. Fails to knock us out, so I could find out if he's Banded or Scarfed by going into Haxorus and just clicking Dragon Claw at this point. And if we're faster, then we know he's Banded. If he's faster, then we know he's Scarfed. So, let's just go for the Claw. And uh, we see that he is more than likely Banded. And now what we can do is follow that up by going into our Darmanitan and clicking Flare Blitz. And we shouldn't die to recoil. And then his, uh, his Deblade is going to be forced into Shadow Sneaking us. So we can then follow that up by going into Gyarados and knocking it out with uh, a Waterfall plus whatever. So just going to go for the Blitz. He's going to go for Sneak. We'll go for uh, Switch into Gyarados. And even if he Swords Dances, I don't think plus one Shadow Sneak takes us out to Blade. I just want to calculate with crits and everything uh, against Argera. Offensive Dragon Dance. Shadow Sneak does 15 to, uh, to 19 right now. If he's plus one after the Swords Dance, it does 28, so a crit would do 48. Yeah, so we can just Waterfall here. Goes for the Sneak, doesn't do much. Waterfall is not going to be able to take him out. That's what I was worried about. And uh, his next sneak is not going to be able to do enough even with a crit, so that's going to be GG. And drop that form in the chat. And uh, that's the first win. So uh, came down to a narrow 1-0. I uh, could have played that a little bit better. Didn't see the sludge wave coming from his uh, from his tornado. I'm really glad I knocked off its life orb though, because that could have done a lot more to Sylveon. So, and here we have a relatively bulky offense team, uh, being Sylveon and Polion. He's pretty weak to Haxorus, actually, looking at it. Uh, because I have Poison Jab, Earthquake, and Incinerate for the uh, for the Chestnut, so. I'm going to lead with Mandibuzz again, because I can taunt this Swampert. It shouldn't be faster than us. Uh, it's also potentially his Mega, though, so we're going to find out right here. As we taunt it, keep it from going for Stealth Rocks. He goes for a Scald, gets a crit. Gets a burn as well, so very unfortunate. Uh, we'll be able to knock this thing off, though. Get rid of its item. I don't mind uh, I don't mind staying in here. He actually goes into Kabalion to get the Justified boost, so good play on his part. Uh, we're going to get rid of the Leftovers, though. And now we'll be able to switch into our Gyarados here. Lower this thing's attack back down. Hopefully he doesn't go for a Volt Switch. He goes for a Swords Dance, so good. Okay, cool. Uh, he shouldn't be able to touch us with anything other than Stone Edge. 
So I'm contemplating going into Agron directly here. I could just sack off Mandibuzz too. I mean, it doesn't do much in this game other than getting rid of hazards. So yeah, I'm going to go into Mandibuzz. I'm going to sack it off to the Stone Edge as he actually misses. So unfortunate for him, but I was just sacking anyway. And I'm not going to give him another justified boost. I'm just going to go for the taunt as he goes for Stone Edge. All right, cool. And now we can go into Darmanitan and just fire off a Flare Blitz. It's going to hurt everything on his team. Uh, I don't think anything takes this too well. The best thing to take it would be his Swampert. Uh, let's see how much this actually does. It does a respectable 28%. We take a little bit of recoil there. Not a big deal. He can now go for Stealth Rocks, but I can also go into Gyarados. So here we go. Hopefully he doesn't get a burn if he Scalds. Uh, as he goes for Stealth Rocks, that's awesome. We're going to be able to... I know this thing carries Roar usually, so I'm tempted to just Waterfall here. Do some more damage to it. He does go for Roar. And he gets this into Sylveon, which is good, actually. Uh, I'm going to go for the... For the Wish right here. Because his uh, switch is... Oh, okay. Well, I didn't expect him to switch into Sylveon, to be honest. And I can just go Aggron here. And uh, eat up whatever hit he wants to go for. Goes for the Hyper Voice. It does a lot, but we resist it. And we go up to full. And now we can Mega Evolve. And potentially get up our Rocks, which is what I think I'm going to do. He does have a Defogger, but it's weak to Earthquake, so... Uh, he goes into Chestnut, good play. We're just going to go for the Stealth Rocks here, and we will switch directly back out into Sylveon and threaten something else. So, let's see. He goes for the Leech Seed, misses, unfortunately. Uh, going to go for the Hyper Voice, threaten this thing immediately. As that does 96%, so... He can't really stay in here. Uh, I mean, he could have Spiky Shield, but... I'm going to predict him to switch out into his Empoleon and go directly into Haxorus. It could be a very risky play here, but I think it's my best play. Uh, he does go for Spiky Shield, but at least he's not getting the recovery. I'm gonna go for Poison Jab right here and knock this thing out. It also covered the switch into Sylveon and even into, um, into Empoleon because uh, if he if we went into Empoleon, then I didn't take the life orb damage, and he still didn't know what set I was, and I could Earthquake it after. Chooses to go into Espeon here, so Espeon is pretty much walled by Agron, so I'm going to just switch into it. And uh, now I'm pretty free to EQ, actually. That Psychic did a lot. I'm, I want to calc that. Hold on a second. Agron. I'm pretty sure that's Specs. Uh, UU Tank versus Espeon. Uh... What's Fancy Glasses Cat? What's Calm Mind Sweeper? How much does it do with a Psychic? Psychic. Uh, normally not that much. So yeah, he's definitely Specs. And I'm just going to throw out a Earthquake right here. As he switches into Swampert, which is a good play. And uh, we're going to be able to knock this thing down to 40%. I am weakening his, swam uh, his Swampert, which is what I wanted to do. Because uh, Gyarados is eventually going to be able to sweep. I just need to weaken the Empoleon now. And uh, I'm just going to go for a Roar right here. He's going to Scald me, which is going to do a little bit. He's not going to get the burn, luckily. I'm going to go for a Roar, and that drags in his Empoleon, which has a much more powerful Scald. But I'll be able to Earthquake this thing. He goes for a Hydro Pump, so is this thing Specs as well? It doesn't have Leftovers, so it very well could be. Uh, but now I'm free to go back into Haxorus and fire off an Earthquake on this thing. So, and nothing really wants to switch into this. Not even Swamper. If we weaken this, then our Gyarados can sweep. Uh, he chooses to switch into his Swamper. Okay, cool. Gonna Earthquake that thing. We're gonna take Life Orb damage. Now we should be able to knock it out with the following Earthquake, uh, which will allow him to switch back into his Espeon. We do have a switch for that being Sylveon. I don't know how well I take a Specs hit though. So that's, that might be a problem. Um, yeah, let's just go for another Earthquake. Let's knock out a Swampert because it does support our Gyarados Sweep. I mean, he was weakened to the point where we could have knocked him out with a Waterfall anyway, but I feel a lot more comfortable going for that. If he goes into Cobalion, that's another problem. So, Sylveon and, uh, and Empoleon are not good switches for him right now. If he goes in, into Espeon and Cobalion, or Cobalion though, it's very problematic for us. Because now this thing is going to be a huge threat. Um, it's definitely timid from the calc that I did. So, I really wanted Sylveon to heal this thing up. But I think at this point, Darmanitan just spams Flare Blitz on his whole team. Like, I wish I didn't have Rocks up, but... Do I want to keep Haxorus? I mean, it's my backup win, right? 
Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go into Sylveon here. And he's going to Psychic. That's gonna do a tremendous amount. I will not be able to live even after the Protect, so I need a couple of Protects here. Let's see if we can get it. He goes for the Psychic. We go up to 39. His first one did 48, so I think we need like three Protects in a row. <laughs> he's gonna get off another one here. And uh, we're up to 45. I need a third Protect, which I do not get. He's able to hit that Psychic, and he's able to knock us out. But now... Now we can go into Darmanitan and just start spamming Flare Blitz, so let's do that. Um, Earthquake is also a good option, but I think Flare Blitz is just all around the best option. It'll be able to knock out something on his team now. And the only problem is that Darmanitan, uh, Darmanitan takes a lot of recoil, and it takes rock damage when it comes in, so... Gonna be able to knock this Empoleon out right here. That's a neutral hit, by the way, guys. That's pretty crazy. Um, he just sacked his uh, Empoleon, which is another thing that could take hits from Gyarados. So if he goes into Sylveon right here, and we knock this thing out with a Flare Blitz, uh, we should be able to. We're sheer force, uh, 379 attack, so there goes Sylveon. And we actually live recoil, so we're going to be able to get another knockout right here. Let's see, uh, let's see what he does. I really wish I still had Mana Buzz right about now. He goes into Espeon, which is a good play. He's going to keep his... Uh, Cobalion to win so let's just go for the blitz knock this thing out and then we have to go immediately into Gyarados and I think I have to get behind a sub and try to keep this thing from sweeping um, yeah let's go for that he can go for edge I mean it's his best play but he's gonna go for swords dance okay good 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 all right let's go let's go let's dragon dance up let's do this guys He's going to miss an edge at some point. He already went for two. He's only got so many left. And we have leftovers. So let's see. He has five stone edges left. Let's go for sub. If we can get rid of all his stone edges, I can take any hit behind a sub. So he goes for another edge. I'm going to go for another sub. We should be able to sub up one more time after this. And if he hits all the edges, which he does, uh, let's see. We are at 26. We can still sub one more time. And we really need him to miss a stone edge right now, guys, and he does not. Can we flinch him down? Actually, hold on a second. I can, mi I can make him miss another stone edge by going for bounce. But I think my best play is to just waterfall him here. Ah, as much as I don't want to. Well, let's go for it. Let's see if we can get it. Do we get the flinch? No, we do not. He goes for Iron Head, and he's going to be able to knock out our Haxorus after, unfortunately, with uh, with an Iron Head or a Close Combat, so that's going to be GG. Comes down to another narrow 1-0 victory. We're going to try to get one more uh, quick one, hopefully. We're actually uh, pretty high on the ladder, so I don't know how quick this is actually going to be. I'm going to just pause until we get one, guys. All right, we got one, and this guy has a really cool team. He has Celebi. I'm assuming Nasty, pla uh, nasty Pass Celebi into... Uh, Sylveon and Houndoom would make a lot of sense. Swords Dance makes uh, makes sense too for the Gyarados and the um, and the Hitmonlee. But I wall this team pretty well with Agron alone. Like it does a pretty good job of walling out his team. Other than Swampert and Houndoom, everything else is is pretty much checked. So uh, that could also be Reckless Hitmonlee. I'm thinking on Burden, but that's a, definitely a possibility that he'd be Reckless. I'm gonna lead with Sylveon in this game. I was going to lead with Mandibuzz again, but I'm like, you know what? No, let's do something different. Uh, he leads with his Houndoom, which is good, because I can just fire off a Hyper Voice right here. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for the Fire Blast. It's going to do 41%, which is not much, but he does get the burn, so that's really unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to need to Heal Bell this thing up later, so what I'll do is I'll go into Darmanitan here to be able to take the hit, and then I'll be able to U-turn out on whatever he chooses to go into. So hopefully that works out for us. Man, people are uh, are getting a lot of burns on me today. He goes for the Fire Blast. It does half. That's insane. Uh, I'm just going to U-turn here. His best switch is to go into Gyarados. He goes for Protect. Um, I don't know if this U-turn actually takes him out. That's the problem. So, we'll see, though. We'll see if it manages to, to knock him out. Good job going for Protect. As he goes into Swampert, cool. We'll be able to get off this U-turn right here and go into our... Haxorus, I think, is our best play, actually. Um, yeah. Or Sylveon. Sylveon's not bad. We are physically defensive. Slightly. Sylveon's good. Uh, I'm gonna heal bell right away, actually. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the heal bell. If he wants to get up rocks, uh, I can heal back up. 
So, let's see what he wants to do. I don't know if he noticed that I was leftovers or not. So he might think we're specs and he might want to switch out here. Definitely not from the damage on Houndoom, though. He wouldn't think that we were specs. So I'm just going to wish here. Should be able to take any one hit from this thing. And uh, he's going to switch into his Celebi, which is a good play. I really want to just heal up my Sylveon, so I'm just going to Hyper Voice here. Even if he nasty plots, that's fine. Uh, just going to get off the damage there. And now I'm going to go into our Darmanitan, I think. Well, I might want to get rid of Rocks first. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Rocks first. As he uh, does what? Nasty plots again. And we're just going to defog right here. He can't touch us with any move. He's going to Baton Pass. Smart. I think he's just going to Baton Pass into his Sylveon. Yeah, that makes sense. Going to defog here. Sylveon has a lot of special attack right now, but our Agron can beat it. Now I have to choose a Sack, though. So... Uh, Darmanus Hand still puts in a lot of work. Uh, well, his Houndoom's at 47. I mean, it's really only for Celebi, right? So, what is uh, what is Gyarados doing that anybody else can't? Gyarados is beating the opposing Gyarados. So, yeah, I need to keep that. Sylveon is just good for firing off Hyper Voices in general, but after seeing how much it did to that Celebi, I think I'm just going to sack it off here. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just sack off uh, Sylveon to this Hyper Voice. Go straight down. <laughs> Let's go into Aggron. We should be able to take any one hit, even an HP fire, I think. Because we are especially defensive. And we will just go for the Heavy Slam right here. I'm not playing around with this thing. I don't care if he goes into Swampert. That's fine. I'll take that damage any day. And we'll go for Rocks, which will weaken his whole team. He only has one Rapid Spinner, potentially, in uh, Hitmonlee. So... Alright, so he gets back up Rocks. Um... Here, I'm going to go into Gyarados, lower this thing's attack, as I figure it's probably going to go for a Scald. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't burn us, that would really suck, as he does not, and we'll be able to sub up right here. Uh, wait a minute, this thing packs Roar, we already went over this. I have to Waterfall here, I can't let him Roar me for free. As he flinches, which is good, we'll go for another Waterfall. I'm sure he's going to Roar, I, I'm sure he's just going to spam Roar, so... I really have to just go for Waterfall and hope he gets me into Haxorus. We actually flinch him again, so we can just keep going for this and weaken his Swampert down, which is really good for our, uh, our Darmanitan later, actually. He goes for Hidden Power Electric, okay. All right, I see you, I see you. Uh, let's go for another Waterfall. And uh, if we get one more flinch, the Swampert is gone. So let's see, he goes for another Hidden Power Electric, he gets rid of our Gyarados. Okay, that's not a big deal. We can now go into Haxorus and Dragon Claw something. Should be able to do a lot of damage to anything. We are a life orb. And uh, Sylveon's not a switch because I have Poison Jab, so. Let's see, he's probably gonna stay in. He's not gonna want, wanna let me set up because I pretty much win if I set up at this point uh, between Dragon Claw and Poison Jab and Earthquake, so he really can't let that happen. Luckily, we, uh, we kept rocks up for now. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep them up for the rest of the game, but for right now, they're really good. Because of the Houndoom, because of the Gyarados, weakens the Sylveon, which puts it in Poison Jab range, I believe, depending on its set. Um, let's see, what can he do? Alright, so he's going to stay in. He's going to let me take the Life Orb hit. Unfortunately, I don't have my Wish Passer around anymore, so I'm going to have to rely on Mandibuzz to do a lot of the walling against his team. He goes into Sylveon, which I don't know if Sylveon can actually take a Life Orb po Poison Jab from a Haxorus. Uh, let's see, double dance, but give me a life orb, where is it, there we go, and give me poison job. He's definitely not faster than us, unless he's scarfed, which is definitely possible because he passed to it. Poison jab, against Sylveon, Sylveon, let's say specs, uh, poison jab knocks it out after rocks, but it has to be a spec set. He is scarfed, okay, so he takes us out there, but now we have an aggron. And this Aggron right here is going to do stuff. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, let's go for the Roar, as I don't see him staying in. He goes into Celebi, which is good. We're going to be able to get him out of here. And that drags him into Gyarados, which is going to get off the Intimidate. I'm going to go for another Roar, as this thing should attack me. As he actually switches back into Celebi. Okay, so he's just letting it take Rock's damage at this point, which is great. He's going to go back into Gyarados. At this point, I can see him attacking me. 
So I might want to switch into my Mandibuzz here. We got off a ton of damage on his team just by roaring, which is really good. Yeah, I'm going to go into Mandibuzz because we have lowered attack and I won't be able to take anything out. He goes back into Celebi, even though he sees that I'm just roaring constantly. Uh, let's go for the... Even if he's min speed, I think he outspeeds us. So I need to go for the Defog right here. Uh, no, I need to go for the knockoff. He goes for recover. I'm going to knock this thing off. Get rid of its leftovers. And then I'm going to... I think I have to switch directly into Darmanitan, actually. Well, no, I can go into Aggron now that I don't have lowered attack. Uh, Heavy Slam should still be doing a lot. He goes for the recover. I'm going to go for the slam. See how much it does to this thing. And it does 41%, so that's actually really good. And we have 14 Heavy Slams. So he goes for Giga Drain and doesn't do much to us. I'm going to be able to slam this thing repeatedly. And uh, he has how many recovers? 14, so he definitely beats us out. I assume he's going to go for the recover right here. His Gyarados is weakened to the point where a Flare Blitz should be able to take him out. So I might just want to spam that. I'm going to roar here on his recover and get him out of here. There we go. And we bring back in his Gyarados, which is good. And uh, we'll just roar again. He goes for Waterfall, does a little bit. He's, we're going to roar him out. Now his Gyarados comes in at 1%. His Hitmonlee gets dragged in, which is a little bit of a problem. Uh, let's go into Mandibuzz. I don't want to take a big hit with, uh, with my Aggron. He goes for the High Jump Kick, and it actually is able to knock us out. He's Life Orb. And now I think I have to rely on Darmanitan just sweeping up the rest of his team, to be honest. Um... Can he do it with any move other than Flare Blitz? It doesn't look like it. Alright, well, we still have our Aggron, which I think beats the Celebi. Maybe not 1v1, because we're only doing 41%. Well, let's go Darm. Let's just click Blitz. Hopefully he's not Choice Scarfed. He, we already know he's... Okay, well, he has Mock Punch. So that knocks us out. And that's going to be another good game. So we get two losses in that one, unfortunately. It's a very powerful team, but against certain matchups, it's not very good. Uh, as you can see, uh, this Hitmonlee just tore through my team at the end, and uh, I wasn't expecting... Oh, don't want to click the replay there. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting him to be Scarfed Sylveon. Well, I, I was. It did cross my mind, but I really didn't see it coming, so uh, I will leave a GG for him. It was a, it was a good game. It's good battles. I think this team has some viability. It's got a little bit of an issue with uh, Stealth Rocks after Mana Buzz is gone. Uh, or even just getting rid of rocks in general because you want to keep them up on your opponent's side of the field as well. So I might switch Mandibuzz out for a bulky rapid spinner like Dawnfan. Dawnfan actually wouldn't be bad on this team. So we'll see maybe in the future. But uh, that's going to be it for today, guys. If you enjoyed, hit that like button. If you have any suggestions for sets or how can we can improve this team, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to see more of these lives daily. And uh, thanks again for watching. Ciao.